Trump just pissed off NFL race baiters and the commission a hours before kickoff, calls on Americans to do this. Every time an NFL player takes a knee during the national anthem, it is a slap in the face of our military veterans. These players are paid millions of dollars to play a sport freely thanks to the brave men and women who fought, bled and died for America. Instead, these arrogant players continue their disrespect without any consequences from the league or team owners. Over the past weekend, President Trump has blasted the NFL for allowing this protest to continue saying that players that kneel should be fired. Of course, the left-leaning NFL commissioner Roger Goodell backed these anti-American players, calling Trump's speech and tweets divisive. Now, President Trump has responded to Goodell and these disrespectful players with this call to action that all red-blooded Americans can get behind. Over the past month, the ridiculous antics of NFL players protesting the national anthem has only grown. Instead of these players leaving their social justice warrior hijinks off the football field they have continued. Football fans around the country have grown weary watching these high-profile players protesting racial inequality and oppression, all while cashing million-dollar checks. One would think that team owners would put an end to this insanity, but most have caved to political pressure. So, President Trump the only man with a spine has waded into the fray and offered his politically incorrect solution. Trump stated at a rally in Alabama on Friday night that all players that do not stand should be fired from the team. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a B, off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. Many players on NFL teams were quick to find fault with Trump's comments calling them offensive. Apparently, the irony was lost on these arrogant players, right? At any rate, Trump did not back down and has continued calling out these ungrateful players and now has urged all Americans to boycott. Here is more from Daily Mail. President Donald Trump has called for fans to boycott the NFL if players don't stop disrespecting the U.S. by kneeling during the national anthem, as his rant continues to draw backlash from high-profile athletes. Trump had earlier denounced the protests by NFL players and rescinded a White House invitation for NBA champion Stephen Curry in a two-day rant that targeted top professional athletes and brought swift condemnation from league executives and star players alike on Saturday. Early Sunday morning, Trump continued his Twitter tirade and called for an NFL boycott. If NFL fans refuse to go to games until players stop disrespecting our flag and country, you will see change take place fast. Fire or suspend. Trump tweeted. NFL attendance and ratings are way down. Boring games yes, but many stay away because they love our country. League should back U.S. Trump's comments in a Friday night speech in the series of Saturday tweets drew sharp responses from some of the nation's top athletes, with LeBron James calling the president a bum. Trump started by announcing that Curry, the immensely popular two-time MVP for the Golden State Warriors, would not be welcome at the White House for the commemorative visit traditionally made by championship teams after Curry indicated he didn't want to come. Later, Trump reiterated what he said at a rally in Alabama the previous night, that NFL players who kneel for the national anthem should be fired. In all honesty, it comes down to respect for our veterans and their brave sacrifices. These players are quick to point out it is their right to protest, and they are exactly correct. However, that does not make them immune to the consequences. Just because these players feel that they are metaphorically standing up for a just cause they are only angering their base. Kneeling during the national anthem knowing that the majority of your fans are livid about it is not making anyone change their mind. If these players seriously have an issue with the perceived inequality, there are other ways to get your point across. They have the right to protest, and if they were smart, they would pick a better venue that gets their message across. However, this all boils down to lack of leadership in the NFL starting with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Goodell should have put a stop to this nonsense last year instead of allowing it to get to this point. Also. The team owners and coaches should be taking a tougher stand against this blatant disrespect instead of bending to political correctness. 
these players will stop their childish temper tantrum the minute people stop putting any weight into it. Hopefully, if enough people continue to boycott the NFL, it will cause them to reevaluate their tactics and put their energy back into winning championships instead of civil rights that have already been won, been won.